Uh, hello everybody, Rex Flashlight Reviews on here. Tonight I'm doing a video on this Phoenix E35 V3.0. Alright, now I did buy this from Phoenix. They didn't give it to me because they I guess they don't do that stuff. But it comes in a carded package like this in a piece of plastic. And these packages are of a pain in the butt to open at times. But again, there's your th Phoenix 335 or E35, excuse me, V3 logo. It is 3,000 lumens at 240 meter max beam distance, and it does come with a 21700 battery. Come on, focus. I just don't like focus, does it? Hey. I'll focus right there all right it does have a it is a uh, protected cell battery that's in it it has a limited lifetime warranty it is ultra high output and it has ultra thin optic or optical lens all right, it is in a classic design. Right there's the, whoops. Right there are the specs of it. Come on, focus right there. You can pause that anytime you want to read it. And all the other information on the side. Okay. Why aren't you focusing for me here? Let me see. There it is. There's your beam distance throw, your candela rate right there, 14,400 candela rate, and two meter submersible. All right. Now inside the box, there's a package. You get the, the little pamphlet here with different types of flashlights in it. Now these flashlights are not really budget friendly, but they are nice looking flashlights. Okay. Here's your warranty card. Your Phoenix warranty card. Just fill that out and get warranted. If I, can, if I remember right, this did come with a tag on it to tell you that there's a piece of plastic in there that you got to pull out. Here's your owner's manual. See, Phoenix E35 V3. Super high performance flashlight. There's the parts on it. A graph tells you where your turbo drop out. And on the inside, you do get your specs as well. Okay, this does have turbo, high, medium, low, eco mode, and strobe. There's your battery specifications. Let's see if I can zoom that in right there. Alright, and I will list all this stuff. I'll try to get the technical 
uh, perimeters in the description box below. Now, I made this box, so it didn't come with I made it, so if you want to keep your stuff in it, make one if you want. But inside of this, you get your spare O-ring in the lanyard, which is a pretty decent lanyard. Which I don't use lanyards, so if you want to put one on, you can. Here's the USB-C charging cord. You would need a power supply to hook on the end of this to plug into your wall. You can plug it in your computer uh, power pack, or if you got one of those car chargers, you can stick it in, in a car charger to, to charge it on the go. And final, finally, but not least, the uh, flashlight. All right, there's your flashlight. Now again, it is a classical design. The uh, body, or the yeah, the body's uh, excuse me, design and finish is nice. Again, it got the classical look to it. it has some knurling on here. It is not a rough knurling, so it's kind of smooth and slippery. You got some knurling here on the tail cap, which does not come off. All right, to get a little grip to turn your battery compartment off from your head. got your Phoenix E35 right up here on your head plus looks like your serial number your bun is brushed copper along with the bezel is a brushed copper and this houses the SST 70 LED cool white Which doesn't look cool white at first, but it changes and that has an ultra thin Optical lens all right kind of looks like a TIR lens in a way And this flashlight right here it does get hot quick especially on turbo mode All right, there is no tail clicky Now these holes right here are for your lanyard if you want to put one on. There's one on this side and there's one on this side. The pocket clip is nice and sturdy. It looks like it could be a deep carry pocket clip. You can take it off if you want. It is a tough pocket clip to get off. So, and you got some little bit of designing here in the head. You got the little circle and a little bit of oblong rectangle there. So let's take this apart so you can see the threads. And the workings. So inside your head, there's your threads. It's all your components, your, that houses your drivers and whatnot. All you got is a, what are you doing? Contact plate down at the bottom there and on your head. Very nice and clean. The threads on the body itself is well done are well done and well cut and right here is your o-ring okay right in there as you could tell it is well it is greased and down below there if you guys could see it looks like it could be a gold plated contact spring for the negative side mark what are you doing bud Now here's the battery, it does come with it. 
the 5,000 milliamp hour Taiwan 700 battery, 3.6 volts, 18 watts. The way you charge your battery, you just plug it in the side here with the cord that comes with it. And I know you guys are saying, how do I know if it's charging or and darn charging? Well, up here on the button, right in the smack in the middle, there's an LED. Red for charging and green for done charging. Alright. Again, it is a protected cell. Alright, there's the model of it. A B ARB L twenty one five hundred U. Input five volts two amp USB type C. Now I do got other ones like this made by Keep Power. It does work in this flashlight as well. So if you don't want to spend or spend the price on one battery. From Phoenix, you could get Keep Power or buy whatever battery you want. All right, so let me put this back in. Again, negative side down. The positive end up. Now you don't have to take this out to charge it. You're just gonna leave it in the body and charge it that way. Or if you have a charger that this would fit in, okay, you could charge it that way too, a standalone charger. But be, be careful on what one you use because this is a little bit long. This is longer than your standard 21700 due to the charging port. Alright. I got some standalone chargers. It will not fit. So it is kind of tough to get this thing back together because you got to kind of push and screw at the same time. But that's alright. Morris, what are you doing, bud? Sorry, guys. So let's go through the UI. Okay. Now to turn it on, or without turn it on, you could push the cop brush copper button. You could get your battery indicator. As you can tell, it is fully charged. Doesn't like focus on that brass, does it? Or copper, I mean. Let's see if I can get focused in there. See? It's fully charged. To turn it on, you just hold down for a couple of seconds. It comes on. So that would be your eco mode right there. That would be 50 lumens. You got a nice hot spot with the Corona and a nice spill. The spill just... Morris. Please, don't screw with me. Okay, the, the spill has a nice cut off, nice even cut off right there. As you can tell. Let me get this in focus again. So, you got your eco mode. Here's your low. Mark, please. Come on, get, get out of the way. Low. Medium. High, tur turbo, Morris, please. Excuse me, guys, for one minute. Again, your turbo, it, this, again, this does have strobe. You do, all you have to do is just push down, hold a couple minutes or seconds, then it's your strobe. Okay, it is not a constant strobe, it goes fast and it slows down. Turn it off, you just give it a click, it goes right back to the same setting you were on. Now, now the turbo on this will run one hour, one hour, 15 minutes, 240 meters. Morris, come on, man. Uh, 240 meters. At 14,400 candela rate, the high is 1200 lumens, 2 hours and 40 minutes, 150 meters at five, or 50, yeah, excuse me, 
5,625 candela, the medium is 450 lumens, 7 hours, 90 meters at 2,025 candela, low is 150 lumens, 20 hours, 50 meters, and 625 candela, and the eco mode is your 50 lumens, 50 hours, 30 meters, and 225 candela, all right? Your strobe is even 3,000. Uh, again, you got your impact res resistance of one meter in the submersible of IP68. So, that's all I can say about this flashlight. It is a good flashlight, so I did test it out. It does get hot really, really quick. There you go. Just be careful with that. So, I'll be right back, guys, till I get outside and we'll do the light test out there. All right? So, hold on. Okay, guys, so I'm outside. Excuse the traffic down on the road there. Check. Oh, I forgot to tell you one thing right now. When I was on live, or on camera before. But I'll show you that here in a minute. What the hell? So there's your eco mode. That is 50 lumens. Okay. It does make it faintly to that tree that's in front of me here. That's about 50 feet away. But that's all the further it'll go. It will not go any further. Alright. So your eco mode will be perfect if you're walking around the house without waking people up so your next mode would be your low mode that does hit it more on that tree and not I could see it with my bare eyes it does hit that tree just beyond the first tree here but it will not show up on camera all right so Whoops. Medium. There you go. It's lighting that tree up pretty good. Can't remember the lumens again. Now it's making that tree faintly on camera. Okay. Crap, keep turning it off. There's your high mode. Good look right up at that tree. Here's that tree I was telling you about with the willow tree right behind it. And it is faintly making the trees all the way down there by the field. I don't know if you guys can see it or not, but I can see it. Let's make making that tree up there behind the pine trees your high mode there you go now it's really lighting those trees up down there your the willow and uh, one in front of it and it's really making the uh, other ones down there Now this is getting a little bit warm now. Now your turbo, okay. I think that was high out I showed you the last time. Let me see, low, medium, high. Yeah, it was high that I showed you last time. And there's your turbo. Now, it does get hot quick. Just remember that, guys. Come on. Quit going out of focus. Thank you. Now 
Now again, hold down your strobe, I mean, for your strobe, there's your strobe. And one click to kick it out of it. All right, then you press and hold to shut off your light. Okay, there's your beam pattern. So I'll see you guys back inside. And I'll give you my final thoughts on it. Hey guys, now I'm back in my in the house here for the final thoughts on this. Uh, there's one thing I did forget to show you. You can lock this out. One, two. See? You just double click it and all it will is blink twice. A nice try to get out of it. You just double click it again. Then there you go. You're back in service. Okay, so that's the thing I did forget to show you guys. Uh, my final thoughts on it, it is a good, good light. Again, it is not a budget friendly light. Uh, it, ru it runs about, I think it was 50 some dollars, if I remember right. But, let me see here. Oh, shit. Thing. Hold on, guys. I'm checking up for you here. Uh, come on. So, the Phoenix... E35 Where are you? Right there it is. No, that's not it. Come on. No, it's 28. There it is. No, I was wrong. I'll take that back. The Phoenix E35 V3.0 flashlight, that's what this is, is $69.95, so 70 bucks. I said 50, 50 something, but I was close. But 70 bucks, again, it's not a very budget friendly uh, flashlight. You could get from Amazon, you could probably find them on eBay. I got this right off the Phoenix website alone, all right? Sixty-nine ninety-five. So, the only thing I wish it had was the tail clicky on the back here, and make it just so it would just go right straight to strobe, so you don't have to you know press and hold for a couple seconds and get to the strobe. But that's all right. All right, you really don't use strobe anyways. So there you go guys, there you have it, Phoenix E35 V3.0, very classy looking flashlight. So again, my name is Rick from Rick's Flashlight Review Zone here, let me get this. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up for me, please. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already done so already for me, please. Uh, ring that notification bell, select all for me, please, and leave a comment down below. If you have one of these things, or these flashlights here, the Phoenix E35 V3.0, I'd like to hear about it, what you like about it, what you don't like about it. <clears throat> And please keep your comments clean, no trolling, no hate comments, no sexual stuff on my channel, please. Or anything else like that. I do not pull up for that. I'm going to give you guys a warning once. If I see it again, I'll kick you guys off. So, in my again, I will recommend this light if you, <coughs> excuse me, if you want to pay the 70 bucks for it. So, until then, I'll catch you guys on the flip side. Keep shining on out there. And please stay safe. I'm out.